If you're torn between knowing what to do between buying and renting, you're at the right place. Watch this video so you can determine for you what's best. Follow me each week for videos about the upstate South Carolina and reach out, connect, and subscribe. If you're torn between that buying and renting process, you're not alone. It's, it's a big decision that can have a significant impact on your finances and lifestyle, but fear not. Today, we're just looking at it, diving right in and seeing what works best for you. First up, we're talking about building equity versus paying rent. When you're buying a home, your mortgage payments go towards building equity to the property. Essentially, you're investing in an asset that can potentially appreciate over time. On the other hand, renting means your monthly payments are going towards someone else's investment with no potential for equity built up. Buying a home might be a smart long-term financial move if you're prepared for the responsibilities of home ownership. Next, let's look at flexibility and stability. Renting offers more flexibility, allowing you to easily move when your lease ends up or your circumstances change. It's ideal for those who value mobi mobility and aren't ready to commit to a specific location long-term. However, buying a house provides stability and roots in a community. It's a long-term commitment that can offer a sense of stability and security. Another thing to consider is responsibility for maintenance. One of the perks of renting is that maintenance and repairs are typically the landlord's responsibility. If something breaks, you can simply call the landlord or property manager to fix it. However, as a homeowner, you're responsible to pay all maintenance and you're responsible for repairs. While this means you have more control over your living space, it also requires budgeting for unexpected expenses and investing time and effort into the upkeep. Another thing to look at is tax benefits or no tax benefits. Home ownership comes with several tax benefits, including deductions for mortgage, interest, property taxes, and even some closing costs. These deductions can help reduce your taxable income and potentially save your money come tax time. On the other hand, renters don't enjoy those tax benefits as their monthly payments aren't tax deductible. And last, let's think about upfront costs and flexibility. Renting typically requires less upfront costs, such as security deposits and moving expenses. It's more accessible option to those with limited savings or uncertain financial situations. Buying a home, on the other hand, often requires a substantial down payment, closing costs, ongoing expenses like property taxes and homeowners insurance. While it may seem daunting, homeownership can offer long-term financial stability and investment potential. And there you have it. Just a guide to break down that buying versus renting and kind of showcase a few things to consider. So you choose to buy or rent depends on your individual circumstances, financial goals and lifetime and lifestyle preferences. Consider factors like building equity, flexibility, responsibility for maintenance, tax benefits, upfront costs, and long-term stability. No matter which path you choose, make sure it aligns with your personal and financial goals. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for valuable insights into the world of real estate. Be sure to hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Until next time, happy house hunting and renting.